Hello. Hi everyone. So my name is Jalen, and then today I'll be talking about um, current state of where we are and but GL markup, GLAM. So a little bit about me. So my name is Jalen, and I'm the founder of Block Vision, and then I'm the host of Singapore VR AR Meetup also. So currently I'm developing a game for uh, a VR game. Let me just show a quick show of what it is. So it looks like this. So, so the idea is to create a metaverse where you just put in, you know, like speech API, like what do you want and stuff like that, and then you say what you want, and then dog will come up, and then you just use this Google Cardboard, and then go into that door, and then you are in a different world, and then you start to play that game, like in this case it's a puzzle game, where you see there's a, there's a, there's a number there, and then you need to go over there, and then key in the password. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm doing now. And then, so uh, most of the slide that I'll be presenting is uh, actually borrowing from uh, Tony Par Parisi. He's the creator of GLAM. And then he gave a talk about introduction of web, G uh, web VR and stuff like that. So I asked him, can I borrow a slide? And he said, okay, then I'll just get the slide. It's easier. So the current state of VR headset is, uh, so that's three, three headsets that is uh, quite popular nowadays, but now there's another one, which is uh, HTC Vive. So Oculus Rift. So around 350, and then it will be out to consumer maybe next year. Yeah, and then Samsung Gear VR, which you just need to buy uh, the the gear and then slide it in, slide your phone in into it. And another one is the Google Cardboard, where you just it's just a two dollars stuff things, and then you just get normal cardboard and then slide your phone in it. Then you can look look and look around and then see the virtual reality already. So not as nice, but it's good for the pr price. I mean, and then you can reach out a lot of people, right? So uh, current state of VR apps is uh, this: you need to download a lot of uh, big stuff. If you download the Google Cardboard, it, a lot of apps can reach until one point five GB and stuff like that. So that's crazy for me. At least. And then this App Store is source, either it's uh, iOS or you know Unity and stuff like that. And then it's proprietary stacks. And then it's close culture although also. And then you need to be quite expert to develop some normal stuff. You know? So and then let's talk about websites today. It's instant access. No gateway, right? Instant publishing. You, you can just publish your stuff and then people can access to it like right away. Right? You can choose whatever you want to download. And then you got a lot of different culture of collaboration, like GitHub and stuff like that. And then the source code is open, and then there's no barrier to entry. So let's think about how. Uh, let's think about like com so web VR is like a combination of our uh, virtual reality and the web. So, so uh, there's a current uh, web so web VR. So currently we got uh, uh, Mozilla and Chrome is on board on it. They are creating this web. A web VR API already, so it's quite ready. So let's say you want to build a web, uh, I mean things for uh, Oculus Rift in JavaScript. So what do you do? So you render in WebGL, and then you get the head tracking and full screen VR support, uh, and then you just you know use it. So currently it's in Mozilla Navi channel already, but not for Chrome. So all it's all in the browser, no download, install or app store, right? So for mobile VR is even easier. So so all the phones have a gyroscope, right? So we can uh, access the device orientation. So with that we can control where is it already and then from there overlay the three jazz stuff in it, then it's alright. So that's the idea of using Google Cardboard. So yeah. So let's talk about web VR API. So Currently, it runs in a uh, dev build of uh, Firefox and Chrome. And then you just query the uh, browser for the VR devices. And then use the devices, uh, use the VR device it found, and then set it to full screen mode. And then it will do the Oculus Rift rendering, also the, the two camera thing. And then, you know, 
a different perspective. Then during the request animation frame, just query position and orientation tracking device for current uh, value. So let's, uh, I think you guys can't see this. I'll just. Can you guys see this? Should I? Okay, I should. Sure. Can you just take a drop plus? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let's look at, I think VR control is more interesting. So VR control. So the idea is to, it's a, okay, navigator, right? Doc, document dot navigator and then get VR devices right so this will list out all the VR devices that are available for you that connected to your USB so and then when we got the VR devices then we look through each of them and then get the VR inputs see this position yeah, scanner right then after that then then just get the position and then keep updating on request animation timeout, right? But you got the position, that's good enough for you. And then for the, that is to get the, you know, like the orientation. So this is, this is VR effect. Sorry, this one. This one is VR effect, where this is a little bit trickier. So you get the device again, then you get the recommended eye field of view and stuff like that so that you can we can create a good, uh, what about that, a split screen for the virtual reality, uh, for uh, the, the, the effect using, put, by putting two camera and then set the, <coughs> set the distance between eye correctly using this, uh, whatever that we grab from the VR HMD. So, that's the API, but with the Google Cardboard it's relatively easy, so, so to speak. So, uh, so it just rendered the web tree out side by side stereo, no need to query for devices. Because they use, because they kind of know where the eye distance really, so that's easier. So, and then, and then we use the device orientation and then full screen mode, so relatively easy. So, GRM, so, uh, so this is, yeah, I know. Um, so, so, a lot of things has been done in 3GS. So 3GS means you knew a cube and stuff like that, put in material, put in mesh, and all this kind of stuff. Crazy LC stuff, right? I mean, you can spend lines and lines like that. Let's don't talk about like the WebGL. <laughs> WebGL is even crazier. So, okay, so GRM, so the idea of GRM is to make it easier for us. Think of it uh, as a 3D HTML, all right? So, so this is so this is nothing. So just GRM, I loaded it up, scrape, with container, nothing fancy, right? So GRM, just put it in. And then this this is a you know like a mark. So, and then you say that I want to create a scene. Right. And then you say I want a box. <coughs> right, simple as that. And then after that, I give the box an ID. Mm, we are cute, maybe. Right, and then let me grab some default state CSS. Just nothing much, just you know like setting so that all the thing goes correctly. Then after that then right and then I style the cube using CSS. There you go, that's a cube. So by using HTML style, 
you can get a kit already, right? So, and then after that, let's say I want to make it fancier. I want to change the shadow to pong. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, this I'm. <laughs> this is what I expected. <laughs> so you see. Uh, so just by changing it to not pong, you see the the effect is like <coughs> it's not reflecting light, right? So by adding a pong, it's reflecting light. So. So, as you can see, it's relatively easy to create 3D scene using this thing, right? Just HTML, looks like HTML. So, so how about VR? So, how do we add, add VR into it? So, what you need to do is, I just need to, oh, and then let me show you something, and then let's say I want to make it further away, Z equal five. Oh, maybe it's minus five. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, what's next? Okay, on to create a VR scene from it. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So it just looks like this. Put it inside or outside? I think it's inside. Let me reload this. And then let me get it at the scene. So you see, there's two two of it over here, right? So if you put slide this in, and then I access to it, then I can see the effect already. Like right away, it's a VR scene. So is this two cameras or is this two boxes? Uh, one boxes, one but box. as yeah. a lot of VR is using two, yeah, so two cameras to access it. So, so when I slide it in, then you can see the effect where you know all this kind of stuff happening. Right. So, and then let's say you want an Oculus Rift, right? So what you do <coughs> is, you just So just change change the renderer to Rift, and then you can see the effect. You need to add a script so that it will go full screen. Right. So. Put it over here. Easier. So as you can see, I mean, instead of using three gems and doing all this crazy stuff, so so by just using this, we can see it. Don't do live demo.
anyway. <laughs> Continuous <Continuous> slides. <coughs> Can show it later. Yeah. So I'll Just now what I did is I added uh, animation. So it's just a normal animation like CSS animation and then keyframe, normal keyframe. And then you see the box move already. So by using CSS, you can control all this stuff. And then by just adding a renderer, riff, and effect, what's called uh, renderer and controller riff, then you can have the Oculus Rift effect on it. So. So um, I'm so I'm hosting this Singapore VR AR meetup, and then uh, I think uh, the agenda is get to know anyone, then share session, then project pitch. This the last uh, the previous project that we did together. So the idea is uh, to set up an Oculus Rift um, third person um, view thing, and then we just. So as you can see, you can see the from this Oculus view, you can see the you know like the camera from behind, and then it's a third person view thing. So yeah, and then uh, thank you. And then next uh, Monday, seven p.m. Uh, in Idea Labs, uh, we are hosting the third uh, uh, Singapore AR VR meetup, and then let's discuss what uh, what we can do next. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Just now I tried to scan the, the, the this room, but then I it's export as a OBJ file. I you need to convert to DAE file before I put it inside the, the VR stuff. If not it would be more awesome. Alright, cool. Thank you. Which which software do you use? Sorry again? With which software? Which program do you do you scan? This one. It's just a 3D scanner over here. So uh, by right, it should be able to import into my, uh, the, 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 what do you call that, a GLAN file, the, the, the markup that I showed you just now. Yes? So for VR, right, uh, you probably need a pretty high refresh rate. Yes. Uh, if not, you will see the uh, latency. Yes. Uh, so on 3JS, uh, on this kind of scene, right, um, you know, does it really perform at a higher refresh rate? Because I, like, for this one, you can see that it's like 45 frames per second, which is mm. not so... Not so. So, the, so the golden ratio is 120, right? So not there yet. So so we are waiting for, you know, like the, the VR headset to go to consumer market. Then everything sets correctly already. Then Google will spend more time on it, right? <laughs> right now, it's just one, one guy is uh, working on the, the Chrome 90 build that is for the virtual reality. So just one guy. So by, he said that with good uh, coding and stuff like that, it's possible to reach around 60, 70 each, right? Uh, currently, like the with, uh, request animation frame maxes out at 60. And it's just, yeah. it's just 60. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why they are trying to move towards that. That's why I say that 60 is something, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright. Jonathan, yeah. maybe a bit off topic, but as you seem to be an expert in Oculus Rift, right. why did Facebook acquire Oculus Rift in your opinion? Right. So, uh, I think in the F8 uh, conference, they talk about, like, you know, like from video, like from text sound like uh, what do you call that audio 
radio and stuff like that move to video and uh, now it's internet he assumed I mean they projected the next one is virtual reality and augmented reality when you can feel the sense of presence right I mean with lead motion and stuff like that then you can touch stuff it's, it will be part of you actually let's say you are in Machu Picchu or whatever you saw a good scenery somehow you happen to a 360 camera you can record down all the scene around you, right? I mean, that would be a better experience than just sharing a video. That's why they're hedging on it, I guess. So it, it would be in, in an easier way, uh, Facebook selling cameras to people so that they can share the pictures on Facebook? Is that is that the, just a couple kind of iterations further into the future? Or? Yeah, it's a hedging, I guess. It's okay. like, a, now we are sharing video. Next time, maybe we are sharing 360, 3D camera, right? Uh, camera, uh, 3D video, right? I mean, so that you can look around, experience how your friend experience. I guess that's what Facebook is providing us, right? You know, we currently it's text and video. They think the next one is virtual reality and augmented reality. Yes? Uh, for the glamour, does it support augmented reality? Uh, example, you can access the camera and it will generate uh, augmented reality as per the orientation of the camera. Is it support that? Very interesting thought. Um, I had this conversation with that guy that created GRM. And then he said that it's quite possible. Think about it, it's just, it's because you see I overlay a black color screen behind, right? Mm. Imagine it's just camera. a camera. Yeah. Did that answer to your question? <laughs> kind of, right? Well, you still need the position of the example. Yeah, the, yeah. The so where you're projecting that. So the how I see this is because uh, in 2016 or 17, uh, I mean the Intel real sense will be coming to consumer. So, so what is real sense? Depth camera means the, the, the 3D scanner that I showed you just now is infrared and all this kind of stuff, right? So it will go to consumer, means what? Means all this thing. So it's better, a uh, better augmented reality platform for us to develop stuff. So, so he's, he's, because he's a virtual reality guy, he have not much understanding of augmented reality. Is still a infant uh, standard, right? So, so he said that's a possibility. We can contribute on that. I don't understand much about augmented reality. That's what he said. <laughs> so that, that answer your question. Aye. Yeah. All right. So any more question? No more. So yeah, thanks, Jan. All right.